Welcome back to the Vandy Sports Podcast. I'm Joey Dwyer here with Vanderbilt's new assignee, Tyler Tanner. Tyler, thank you for joining me. And can you just take me through what today was like? You had a lot of friends and family here, a lot of coaches. What were the emotions like today for you? Uh, it's amazing, uh, you know, seeing everybody that's supporting me through the years, uh, supporting me still now. Um, coming here, a lot of kids out of school coming to watch me, you know, sign what I've been dreaming of. So uh, it really just shows you how blessed I am, highly favored, how highly favored I am. For sure. It feels like this has been a long time in the making. Even before your commitment, it felt like Vanderbilt was the spot for you. How meaningful was it for you to finally make that official today? It was very meaningful. Um, ever since I stepped foot on campus, uh, it's felt like home. Uh, the coaching staff has been amazing to me, making me feel like I'm one of their own. So finally making it official uh, was a really special moment for me. For sure. Obviously, two other guys joined the class with you. How excited are you for Karis Ball and Jamie Vincent to be your teammates? I'm super excited. Uh, I got to play with them both uh, a couple weeks back, both real good players. Uh, I think we'll have good chemistry once we all get there uh, and get settled into the system and everything. What did you see from them, I got to ask? Uh, I know Jamie can shoot the ball real well. Uh, that was my first time ever seeing him. Uh, but he can shoot it well, and Karis is just mad athletic. Uh, I think me and him will play real good together with one and two guards. For sure. I wanted to ask, what do you think Vanderbilt's getting in you? Obviously, the hometown guy. and. A guy that comes with a lot of expectation, what do you think you can give them? I'm going to give you a fun guy, a guy who likes to bring energy, who likes to be happy on the court, smile a lot. Uh, but also, I come in there to win. Uh, I hate losing. So any chance I get, I'm going to compete, go out there, uh, fight my hardest for Vandy Nation. We talk a lot about basketball with you, but you seem like there's a lot more to you besides basketball. Can you tell us about Tyler Tanner, the person, what's important to you? What do you like to do outside of basketball? Uh, I'm a very Christ-centered person. Uh, I grew up in a Christian household. Obviously, I go to Brentwood Academy, which is a Christian school. I get to learn more about God every day. I would say that's the biggest thing outside of basketball for me, uh, including basketball. God is first, always for me. Um, I love to read the Bible. I love to go to church, learn more about Him, uh, try to live for Him. Uh, I really like music, uh, making music, listening to music, whatever. Um, I just like to have fun. Can you tell us more about you making music? What do you do? You produce, you sing, you rap. What do you do? Uh, I like to rap. Uh, one of my boys uh, is real good in singing. His name's Jack West. Uh, he goes to school here with me. He's a senior. Um, he makes real good music, but I just really like being in the studio with him or something. Just not anything serious, just something to have fun. I love it. Can you tell us what you're looking forward to this year and your senior year? Obviously, you mentioned a lot during this that there's one more year, and you won state last year, correct? And there's a lot out there for you, what do you want this year? I think there's going to be high expectations for uh, me as a senior coming back, uh, coming off a of Gatorade Player of the Year, coming off a of state championship. Uh, it was a really good year for our team and for me. Um, but like Coach said, in those moments, I think that's when I thrive. So I'm looking forward to competing. Uh, I know we're going to have a target on our back, obviously being Brentwood Academy, being a good team, uh, returning from state champions. Uh, but I'm excited. Uh, I love the challenge, uh, and I think it'll be real fun. You're only, what, 20 minutes from Memorial Gym? Yeah. How cool is it to be the hometown guy and to have all these people, I guess they'll be able to come see you in a year? Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, I've always said it's going to be good for me because uh, Vandy's only 20 minutes away, so all my friends, you know, family members from Brentwood can come up uh, to Memorial, come support me, uh, and I'm close, so Vandy's going to, you know, obviously support me since I'm on the basketball team, so it's kind of like a mix of kind of cultures and places in uh, Tennessee and it should be a good turnout every game. Your mom mentioned when she talked that she's going to be the loudest and most obnoxious person in the gym. Is that an accurate assessment and do we should we expect that at Memorial next year? You can expect a ton of energy from her. Um, <laughs> we always say I always hear her just because she's my mom and every son hears our mom's voice but uh, she's always been a huge supporter for me. Uh, she's risked a ton for me, uh, gave up a lot for me whether it's work or spending money on flights. Uh, anything basketball related, uh, she's sacrificed a lot, so I'm very, very thankful for her. For sure. I think it'll be a little harder to hear in Memorial than here, but I, I expect to, to hear some, some yelling and such at that point. Uh, just looking forward, and I guess looking back to how have you communicated with the staff throughout this whole process, and what do you like about them? Uh, so the first coach I was in contact with is Coach Strong. Um, I've known him for since I was a little kid, uh, my mom worked with his wife uh, in the emergency room. So he was the first one that kind of got me introduced. Uh, he wasn't necessarily 
giving me the keys to the gym or whatever, but uh, he was introducing me to everything, telling me, you know, come to this elite camp, uh, come to our game, whatever. That's when they started recruiting me. Um, and then between Coach Fox and uh, Coach uh, DG, a bunch of the coaches started reaching out. Um, I went to their elite camp, and that's when Coach Stack finally got to see me. Um, and he tells me he loved me as soon as he saw me. So that was really important because Coach Stack is a very well-known, valuable coach, uh, played 18 years in the league, uh, can teach me a lot in these next couple years that I'm with him. So I just, I've just i always loved their coaching staff. They've always been supportive, uh, coming to my games for AAU, coming to my high school games, uh, keeping in contact during the season and stuff like that. Isaiah West, the guy who made his college debut last night, had a nice finish and really guarded. How, I guess, how important is it for you and him to kind of represent Nashville on the stage of the SEC? Yeah, I think Nashville has a lot of good hoopers, uh, some that go unnoticed. So I think me and him can take that as a challenge to show him what Nashville's really about, that we have good hoopers here. Uh, we're going to play hard, go out there every night and compete. I didn't know how much of a base there was in Nashville. I guess Brandon Miller, you, Isaiah West, there's a lot of guys that were Vandy recruits and guys from here. I didn't realize how slept on do you think Nashville is as a basketball hotbed? I think it's pretty slept on. Uh, Memphis gets a lot of attention from Tennessee. Uh, obviously, Atlanta's four hours away. There's a lot of recruiting there. Uh, but I think there, there is a good amount of Nashville Hoopers uh, who have what it takes to play at you know the Vandys and the SEC schools, uh, but don't get as much recognition. So I think as time goes on, they'll get recognized. I hope they do. Uh, but we have to do a good job of telling everybody about Nashville. For sure. Definitely a cool thing to represent Vanderbilt and also to represent Nashville at the same time. What's your message to the fan base? I'm excited. I'm blessed uh, to be able to be a part of you guys. Um, I'm looking forward to getting on campus next year. For sure. Thank you, Tyler. I appreciate you and congratulations. Appreciate it.